In today's video, we're going to talk about Plurry, which is a NASDAQ listed stock, which is up by over 60% so far this year. They've released a lot of news, which is helping the stock build up some momentum. So let's jump in and find out more about the company. We're going to start by looking at the chart, and you can find Plurry Innovations under the ticker PLUR on the NASDAQ. And this is incredible because the stock is up by 62% so far this year. They have a lot of news they put out so far this year, and we're going to go through the reasons why the stock might be up and where it could go from here. The next thing I want to do that was actually show you something that I noticed here on the chart, which is a massive M. And the reason why I point this out is because I have seen this pattern play out so many times. This basically comes down to the stock market psychology chart. So if this time's different and we're really going to go higher, there's a few things that I look for here. Notably, again, does the pattern look similar? We have a massive M. Now let's go here to our psychology chart and see if things actually match up because you might be surprised to see that they mostly do. We go all the way up, we get a dead cat bounce, we go all the way down, and then we go sideways where we're, we're trapped. This is the period of frustration where we're between capitulation, anger, depression, and disbelief. But I want you to pay attention to one key thing here. From the time we form, form our recent low, there's one characteristic that I look for to signify that we could be going higher. It's very simple. We look for higher highs. So we note that from the time we really carve out our bottom, we form a high, a higher high, a higher high. And then as eventually we get through disbelief and we go back to the beginning here where we go back up over hope, optimism. So if this time's different for Plurry, again, the stock is up by 62% so far this year and they got some news to support it, which we will get to in a moment. There's a few things, including some pretty cool uh, coffee headlines. We'll get to that in a moment. But I just want to make sure we understand that the chart right now is telling us that something is peculiar. So again, if we look here to the shorter time frame, which means just the bottom part, I just want to show you that I, I quickly did this before I hit record, so I don't have to do this uh, twice. High, higher, high, higher, high, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. We're pointing up. So pay attention to that inside of this larger pattern, which we've already identified looks pretty similar here. So if now we zoom in again, the stock has had a big a big slide, so we got to zoom in quite close here, but look what we see. I'm going to go to full candles, make it a little bit easier to see. What do we know? Well, we got a high, a higher high, a higher high, low, higher low, higher low, higher low. We're pointing up like I just showed you on the other chart. So the, this, this time could be different. Um, what I want to show you is that this chart has struggled in the past. When If it's below the 50 MA, it doesn't quite reclaim it, which is the short-term price. It just ends up being a sell. But the important thing that I'm noticing here is that the stock has actually managed to get over its short-term price or the 50 MA, back test, and then push off or pop, flag, pop, flag. This is very constructive. And if we now look here to our daily chart, um, which what's interesting on here is that we're forming a golden cross. And a golden cross is a lagging indicator. But what it looks at is over the previous uh, 50 and 200 days, is the short-term price now more bullish than the, the long-term price? Or does it cross over? That's what a golden cross is. So over here, we note that, yes, sir, we're over it. So we have a golden cross and we're over both averages. This is really good. Previous resistance is also turning into support, which is a classic bullish signal. So the chart right now tells us that something could be different. And the last thing I want to point out here is that we've been through this on the other channel, but on this one as well. We talk about the criteria for analyzing a chart in under 10 seconds. So price is king. I just showed you that, at least for now, I'm getting evidence that the psychology chart might be at play here. And uh, with the gains we've seen so far this year, there appears to be some short-term momentum, which if the news is substantial, could lead to more upside. So we're starting to point up after pointing sideways for quite some time. I showed you we're above the short-term price, which means we could have short-term momentum. And we talked about the difference between difference between the short term time frame, medium and long term or the one day and one week. But finally, I want to move here to the volume because uh, we ironically have a cup and handle on here as well. So the volume, does volume confirm the price action? So if this time's different and we're going to go from depression where people think the re retirement money is lost to disbelief or this is a sucker's rally, do we see volume here? And what I want to point out is that, yes, we do. So we note that we got a big influx of volume that's bullish. Another influx, all the big bars that have happened recently are green. And this is important because as we make progress to the upside, let's just zoom in here, right? As we start making progress to the upside, what it means is that volume usually precedes price. We get a big spike in volume, we flag out. Get another spike in volume, we flag out. 
that is classic bullish. So in this case here, I would say that the short-term move is being confirmed with the volume. This is all constructive. So now let's dive in and now let's dive in and find out exactly why the stock is up by 62% so far, th so far this year, like I just alluded to. So um, again, the ticker is PLUR on the NASDAQ. The stock is approaching $1 as well. So we do have some, uh, some CEO updates on recent achievements. We'll come back to that in a moment. I just want to gloss over their big highlights here. So they tell us that they're growing pipeline of in, in, uh, industry-specific new potential products, services, collaborations, and partnerships through Pluri uh, Ag Tech, Pluri CDMO, Pluri Health, and Pluri Food. All right, they've been busy. Uh, recent achievements include new cell-based coffee business, new ag tech division and first partners, um, new con uh, contract development for manufacturing organization, or CDMO, division of $2.5 million with the U.S. NIH. That's really notable. And new partnerships with uh, Bar Island uh, Ion, uh, University. Hope I said that right. Landmark uh, collaboration with uh, Tanuva Group uh, continues to drive his technology forward with interest uh, from global partners. Nice. Um, dr drilling down a little bit further to their re uh, to their news, uh, they've received their first ever patent approval for 3D bioreactor technology and plant cell cultivation. So I went through and read that. I read this. Um, I find it very interesting because. It basically is, is about coffee, which is a huge, uh, again, total addressable market or TAM, $130 billion coffee industry. They're looking to uh, create proprietary 3D, 3D technology platform to develop cell-based products for the coffee industry. Whoa, what does that mean? Um, I did the reading so you don't have to. It basically means that Pluri Ag Tech is going to be a company that is going to make um, cells made into ground coffee, and then you get Pluri cell-based coffee. Woo! Uh, I love coffee. So the fact they're trying to do something here seems quite interesting because they're largely talking about reduction. I'm sorry. They're trying to confront the reduction uh, reduction of suitable growing areas, uh, which basically mean that they're being mindful of the environmental impact. So 3D printing is something that really interests me. Coffee is something that really interests me. And uh, this seems quite compelling here. So uh, I, I encourage you to uh, read the links I'll leave in the description if you want to find out more about each one of these recent news releases, or like I mentioned, the reason why the stock is going up. So Pluri is selected as CDMO uh, to remedy cells for cell-derived, cell-free drug manufacturing. And this is also recent. It's from March 14th. The other news article is from March 11th, and uh, the CEO update is as of uh, February 28th. So we'll come back and look at that one briefly in a moment. But this one here is quite interesting as well because... Um, it was highlighted in that first article we just talked about. So they're telling us here that uh, they are a leading biotech, a biotech company that transforms cells into solutions. Um, today announced that its CDMO division has signed a manufacturing agreement with Remedy Cell LTD, an innovative biopharmaceutical company developing stem cells derived cell-free therapeutics for complex fibro uh, fibrotic conditions. There's also a quote here that I wanted to read. So Remedy Cell CEO said, this is an exciting time at Remedy Cell as we initiate the early stages of clinical development on our novel drug candidate, um, RC0315 um, for IPF, a condition with significant unmet treatment needs. We look forward to the uh, manufacture of our drug candidate to Pluri GMP facilities and believe that their vast experience developing and manufacturing cell therapies will accelerate our time to market. Pluri CEO and President Yaki Yane, hope I, hope I pronounced that correctly, sorry if I did not, uh, Remedy Cell is an innovative company developing crucial treatments like RC0315 to address complex conditions uh, with limited therapeutic options. We are delighted that Remedy Cell has chosen Pluri CDMO to assist with their clinical manufacturing as we eagerly anticipate the establishment of a robust long-term partnership grounded in excellence and collaboration. So they've got some pretty big deals again with the NIH. They've got this cool thing with coffee, which looks quite compelling on its own. And then when we tie that all together, that gives us a nice update from the CEO for achieve achievements and 2024 goals. Other things they're looking to do include uh, Pluri Ag Tech Innovative Answer to the Global Coffee Crisis, Sustainable Cell-Based Coffee, what we just briefly touched on. Um, their Pluri CDMO to support development of life-changing cells and gene therapies for uh, biotech companies and potentially generate revenues and cash flow for Pluri. Nice. Uh, Pluri Health and US NIH Advanced Development for PLX R uh, R18 as countermeasure for our uh, ARS. Again, encourage you to read through all of this. Um, I'm not a technical, uh, I'm not a great biotech person, but uh, this seems quite compelling. 
Um, collaboration with Bar Ion University develops PLX cells to treat cocaine addiction. Interesting. Even after foods promising developments. All right. Another headline. It looks like they're really trying to focus on a lot of things here. And the CEO and the company have been quite busy. So again, one more time, you can find this talk under the ticker PLUR on the NASDAQ. And if you're still watching, I really encourage you to please read the description for full disclosure details, including that this is a sponsored video. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.